Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia if you're new here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the new MAC holiday collection. I did pick up multiple of the items. I picked up pretty much the whole collection, the main pieces anyway. They released a ton of sets of like their favorites and things like that. Now, I didn't pick up all of those, but like the actual color collection that they released for holiday, I did pick up most of that. So let's go ahead and go through what I picked up. All right, first up, I picked up one of their larger kits. Now this is called the Indulgent Glow Face Kit. It has got an extra dimension skin finish in here, which I love. They make the best highlighters. I picked this up to try to use it as a blush spoiler. It works more as like a blush topper for me. If you have more fair skin tone. This definitely could be used as a blush, but for me, it is a more of a topper. You also get a brush in here and then a makeup bag, and this one retails for $44. I also picked up one out of the two eyeshadow palettes that came out in this size. Now, these are the six pan palettes, and it came in two different variations. I picked up, I think it's called Regal Rose, Yes, these retail for $32. Now there was a larger 12 pan palette and that one retails for $49, but I just liked the size of this one and the price point on this one. So I figured I would pick this up and see how these shadows performed. I also liked the different finishes that you get in here. And again, beautiful, beautiful packaging. After I run through all these products, I will go through and swatch them and then we will get into the tutorial portion of this video. Next up is an extra dimension skin finish. There is only like as far as the single extra dimension skin finishes that released, there was only one and this is it. It is called Wrapped in Gold and this one retails for $40. All right, and then there were a few different lip formulas that came out. So first off, I did pick up the lip balm. This is called Fizzy Feels Lip Balm, and this retails for $25. It only came in one shade, if you will, and that was Taste for Bubbles. I did pick up two out of the five Luster Glass Sheer Shine Lipsticks. <laughs> um, I picked up I've Been Naughty and these lips are expensive and these retail for $24 each. And then last up, I picked up one of the five Powder Kiss liquid lipsticks. I picked up the shade Spiced Cocoa and this retails for $26. All right, now let's go ahead and get into the swatch. So first off, we have got this Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This came in the kit with the bag, which is super cute, and the brush as well. This is called the Powder Wing Brush. And of course, like the brush head is full size, but the handle, of course, is a mini. All right, and then this is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Bottomless Brunch, which I think is a limited edition shade to like this holiday collection. And of course, it has got the beautiful bow embossment in here. This is that shade. And there is a concentrated swatch. And then if you kind of blend it out, you will see that you do get a little bit of rosiness. However, I was like applying it and applying it and it just was not giving me like that pop of color like I wanted. All right, next up is the eyeshadow palette in the shade Regal Rose or the color story Regal Rose. And here are the six shades that you are getting. I do have all six shades on my eyes, which we will get into in the tutorial portion of this video. And I'm going to go ahead and give you a swatch. All right, I will say that for how these swatch, these apply so nicely on the eyes and these dazzle shadows are absolutely amazing. The satin is beautiful and super pigmented as well. And then I love the addition of this like 
peachy rose gold type of a shade. I think that this color story is absolutely amazing. Um, MAC really puts together some color stories that just looking at this, you wouldn't really think, oh, how can I create a look with that? But um, clearly you can, and we'll get into that later, um, some different options that I have that you guys could do. But yeah, love that. Next up, we have the Fizzy Feels Lip Balm. Of course, you're not going to get very much of a swatch here, but you can tell it does have a little bit of a bronzy shade to it. Next up is my favorite of the lip shades that I picked up, and that is I've Been Naughty. Such a pretty nude, and that is what I have on. These also feel so good too, the Luster Glass lipsticks. Then we have these lips are expensive. All right, and then last up is the Powder Kiss Liquid Lipstick in the shade Spiced Cocoa. All right, so here are the four different lip shades. All right, and then last up is the thing that I thought I was going to love the most, but I was actually the least impressed with, and that is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Wrapped in Gold. The embossment is beautiful on here. Love all these little bows, but as you can tell, this pan is loose in here. It kind of like dried up, I feel, um, and here is that there as you can tell it is very pink again if you are my skin tone or lighter you could really use this kind of as a blush topper I think this would be a beautiful eyeshadow I mean look at that that is a gorgeous just like wet looking eyeshadow that might be actually how I use this now that I'm looking at it um but I do have this on my cheek and I mean you can wear it it's just not not my favorite but yeah, that is kind of what I picked up and the price points and swatches. Now let's go ahead and get into the tutorial and then final thoughts on this collection. All right, guys, so as you can tell, we are starting bare face. The only thing I have on my face thus far is just my skincare. And I did prep my eyelids with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is my go-to. I have had this thing forever and it still has a good amount of product in there. But... The first thing that I want to start off with is the eyeshadow palette. This is such a beautiful packaging. It reminds me a lot of their holiday collection from like a year or two ago. This is called the I Love Surprises eyeshadow palette. As you can tell, it is a six pan eyeshadow palette. There are a variation of textures and finishes in this. This will retail you for $32, which I think is a decent price, especially with this packaging, which I'll show you in just a second. Now in the US, there are two different variations. Um, I picked this one just because it had the pop and I have a lot of neutral palettes in my collection. I cannot wait to show you guys this packaging. So first off, you have this little sleeve that comes off and then you have got this beautiful pink packaging just think if you were giving this as a gift i think it's so beautiful and then it gets even better so here is the palette itself it's like pink with like raindrops on it you've got this beautiful bow and this is like a sturdy bow like this is not going to come off absolutely beautiful i love the size of it as well but it can just like fit in the palm of my hand. You do have a mirror in here. And then here are the shades right here. As you can tell, there are two of the like dazzle eyeshadows in here, which I love that formula. When you put them on your eyes, it just like gleams and picks up the light so beautifully. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I want to try to use all of these shades in this look, so we'll see how it comes out. And I'm going to go into this shade right here. It does have some shimmer in it, but not nearly as much as the others. So I'm going to pick it up on this brush and I'm going to like tap it off and hope that a lot of that glitter kind of falls off. 
All right, I scooted you guys in a little bit closer so you could see better what I was doing. And as usual, I'm gonna do one eye on camera, the other off of camera. Now, if you do not like shimmer in the crease, if you were just like highly against that, then this would not be the best look for you. But I just want to use all of these shades and really see how they work for you guys. As you can tell, I mean, there is a little bit of shimmer in this shade, but unless you were like packing it on with your finger, I think you're good to put this in the crease, honestly. And that just blends beautifully. Now using the same brush, I'm gonna go into this like more like white shade here. It's kind of like a pink, like a white with a pink shift. And I'm gonna kind of put that right under the brow and use that to blend these two shades together. Okay. You see how just seamless it made that? Now, I am gonna do my brows later. I always do my brows after my eyeshadow just for this reason, because otherwise I'd get that powder in my eyebrows. All right, so I just picked up a tiny bit more of this shade right here just to build that peachy shade back up into the crease. All right, and then next up, I'm gonna take a little, this is actually a MAC, this is a MAC 217. The other brush that I was using was a Laura Lee L26. All right, with this brush, I'm gonna go into this like navy blue, but it has like a little bit of purple in it. And I'm just going to kind of build that up over here in that outer edge. And I got it a little bit over here, which I would not rather have not done. I'm just going to go back into that little blending brush and just kind of blend this away with whatever was left on this brush. This is a very, very pigmented shade and I love how dark it is. I'm gonna take kind of a more controlled brush. This is from Lunar Beauty. This is his number five brush. And I'm just going back in with that dark navy. All right, and I'm just building this up in the outer corner. All right, now what I'm gonna do is go in with my finger into this purpley type of a shade here. I love a taupey purple, and that is super beautiful. I love the reflex in that. And this is super intense dry. If you put down glitter shadow or, um, wet your brush this would be even more insane but this is intense enough for me all right then i'm gonna go back in with my finger and i'm gonna go into this shade here this like more silver toned and i'm gonna kind of tap this right where that dark shade and that purple come together just to kind of help blend and kind of just add a little bit more dimension. Now I'm gonna go back in with that flat brush and that dark bluish purple shade and I'm just gonna intensify this in that outer corner again. And with whatever is left, actually I'm gonna dip in a little bit more. I'm gonna go and darken up this inner corner as well. All right, I'm gonna kind of connect in the crease just with whatever is left on my brush. All 
All right, and then going back in with this like silvery type of a shade, just a tiny bit. I'm again going to kind of lay this down right over where that purple edge is just to soften it up. I think I'm going to go in with this purple again as well. And just kind of intensify that right in the center of the lid. Alright guys, so that is going to be it for the eyes. So far, I'm going to go ahead, do the other eye, do some of my base makeup, and then we'll be back for the rest of this collection. All right, I'm back. I've got a good bit of the rest of my makeup done and we are gonna go ahead and finish off the lower lash line. All right, so with a little liner brush, I'm gonna go back into this dark brownish purple shade. I actually really, really like this shade. All right, and I'm just going to line my eye with this. And I'm really going to focus it just kind of on this outer third. All right, and then I'm going to take a flat little brush here and I'm going to go back into like this little peachy type of a shade. And that is what I'm going to blend these edges out with. And for some reason, I can see this glitter more on the lower lash line than I could in the crease, but that's okay. All right, and then next up, I'm going to go in with a little pencil brush, and I'm going to go into this blue shade here. Now, I have no clue how this is going to look. This could look crazy, and I could ruin it right here, but I'm going to pop this blue on the inner corner and basically I kind of want there to be blue but then I'm going to put a sparkly shade on top of that. Okay and I'm going to put this color right down here as well. All right, now on top of that blue, I'm going to go in with, what color am I going to go in with? I'm going to try this shade first, this kind of like light pinky shade. Because I kind of just want it to look like frosty. All right, how pretty would those two be for like a frozen type of a look? Just like very wintry. Okay, so see how that kind of like lightened it up a little bit? I actually kind of like that. I think it's really cool. It's different. Definitely different. All right, I'm going to go ahead, catch up the other eye, and put on my mascara. All right, guys, so that is the completed eye look. I actually really like it. I think these colors go together very nicely. Now, normally, I wouldn't use all of these colors together, but I wanted to show you how they all performed, and they all performed amazing. We'll talk more about that later, but we're going to go ahead and move into the next item. All right, next up is a extra dimension skin finish. Now, as far as the single highlighters in this holiday collection goes, this is the only single and it comes in the shade Wrapped in Gold. This retails for $40. Again, I absolutely love this packaging. How beautiful to give as a gift and wait till you see. Now, this is the actual component here. Now, I will say I just opened mine up and mine did come a little bit damaged. Um, I ordered mine directly from Mac and Mac is wonderful. All you do is call their customer service, tell them that something came to you damaged and they will immediately send a replacement. So I'm not worried about that at all. I will just give them a call and get me a new one. 
um, but opening it up, it does have a little push button to open here. You've got a mirror and I'm going to try not to spill this out. Basically, like my pan is just loose and it will kind of fall out if I hold this up. Um, it's like it shrunk or something. But anyway, as you can tell, there are little bows on here and it is just so freaking beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this. So there we go. It definitely has got pink to it. So I'm hoping that this is not going to be like too pink. All right. So I'm going to go in with this. It's like an everything brush from Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. And I'm going to pick some of this up. Yeah, this is just kind of like crumbling. And this is supposed to be like a liquid to powder highlighter. And it's supposed to have like a luminous metallic finish. Um, but I think mine just kind of like dried out. Honestly, that's what it feels like and looks like. But it still is beautiful. I mean, you can see it picking up. The highlighters from MAC are always so good. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, like I can move this around in the pan. All right, so it definitely has got a little bit of a pink sheen to it. I don't know if you can see that picking up. Um, so I definitely would not put this like all over my face by any means, but um, I will put it on the high points. I don't think it looks crazy. And I think once I put on a blush, I think it'll blend in nicely with that. I also, just to see, I'm going to take a more like densely packed brush and dip into this and see if I can show you a little better what I'm talking about as far as the pink. As you can see there, it definitely has a pink shift. So again, I, if I was going to use this just like every day, I would um, definitely use a more fluffy type brush like I had before. But if you use a more densely packed brush, obviously you are going to get more pigment. But yeah, that is the highlighter. All right, moving on, I picked up a kit. This is called the Indulgent Glow Face Kit. It retails for $44. And as you can tell, you're getting a makeup pouch, a brush, and an extra dimension skin finish in here as well. This one comes in two different variations. So it's got this more pink, and then there's also a gold option. Um, if you have dark skin tone, I think the gold would be beautiful as a highlighter. I picked up the more pink so that I could try to use that as a blush. All right, again with the packaging, this one has a sleeve and it opens up to this beautiful pink and gold packaging. All right, and then this is the makeup bag that you are getting. I think it is so freaking cute like for a little girl this would be a beautiful little purse and then inside is the extra dimension skin finish this one is in the shade bottomless brunch and as you can tell again it has got that beautiful bow on there and then it came with a little mini mac brush all right so here is the brush here this is called the 142 ses brush and it is described or it's named the powder wing brush all right so i'm going to use this and as you can tell again you've got your little button here that you're going to press this is kind of like the typical mac packaging with the clear lid which i love that way you know exactly what you're grabbing but I love the embossment that they did in this pan. I think it is so pretty. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of dip my brush in there going both ways. So 
So I am getting a little bit of color, but I would definitely say this is pretty sheer. I think this would be more of like a blush topper in my opinion. I mean, if I continue to load it up, I can get away with it as a blush. But I think I definitely would prefer this as just like a boost, like a glow booster over top another just regular matte blush. All right, and I think that that is what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to put on a little bit of this Bare Minerals bronzer. I have been loving this. I have a video of this. It's really quick if you guys want to check it out, but this is in the Kiss of Pink. And I just want to make sure that the pigment is smooth because I feel like we just have a bunch of shimmer going on on the cheeks. So I really want to have like a nice base down. Okay, yeah, see I like that a lot better. I love this so much, this is so good. All right, so now that we have that on, now I'm just gonna dust this over the top and that is how I think I would wear this. Cause it does give you a nice glow. I just feel like it doesn't give you enough of a pop of pigment. As you can tell, it is not very pigmented at all. I mean, that is like a thick swatch, you know? So, it's not going to look like that with a brush going on your skin. Alright, so last up, we have several different lip formulas. First off, I want to start with a new lip formula and... This is called the Fizzy Feels Lip Balm. This retails for $25 and it is in the shade Taste for Bubbles. Now, there was only one shade of this and I just had to pick it up because I thought it looked super interesting. So here is the packaging here. Love it. It's a metal package. And then wait until you see this. This is the lip balm here. I think it is so stunning. So I'm going to go ahead. It does have a scent. It's not the typical like vanilla type of a scent. I think they were kind of trying to go for like a champagne. It smells fine. Now this feels very moisturizing, obviously it's a lip balm. And I think it looks pretty, but I don't think it looks like anything crazy, you know? I think really it is just this packaging. It's so pretty. Um, but as far as like it being different wearing on the lips, I mean you definitely can see some shimmer for sure. It definitely does make your lips look juicy but I feel like it's not doing anything like crazy for me, you know? Now, I will say with all the glitters that were in this lip balm, like I couldn't feel those glitters on my lips, which does make a difference. That was nice. Um, but moving on, we are going to go into two of the lipsticks. Now, the lipstick formula that came in this collection was the Luster Glass sheer shine lipsticks these retail for $24 there are five that you could choose from I picked two so I got these lips are expensive and I got I've been naughty both of these are warmer shades so I'm going to start with these lips are expensive and again I love this packaging now the one that I was saying this collection was similar to I'm going to grab one of this is the collection that I was talking about. This one came out a few years ago. I think maybe like two, three years ago. Um, but as you can tell, same type of vibe, like shiny pink. 
And then as well, I think this came out last year for holiday. So I don't know. I guess MAC has a thing with like pink with the holidays. Who knew? But these lips are expensive. This is described as a warm brick orange. And again, these are not supposed to be super duper pigmented. This is a more sheer, shiny type of a lip formula. Has got that MAC vanilla scent. Mm. I love that scent and these feel so good. These feel like a lip balm. But obviously you have got the pigment. This does not go with the eyes at all. Um, but this is a gorgeous shade. Next up is I've Been Naughty, and this one is described as being a warm nude. So here is that shade here. I thought this would be a wonderful everyday type of a shade. These are the ones I go for all the time. I really, really love this shade. All right, and then last up, I got one out of the five that they were offering of the Powder Kiss Liquid Lipsticks. I love the Powder Kiss Bullet Formula. If you guys saw my makeup collection, then you would know that. I have got multiple parts of that film, so be sure to check that out. I'm pretty sure that was like the first one that I did. But anyway, this is called Spiked Cocoa, and this one is a cool nude. And this one retails for $26. Again, same type of packaging. I absolutely love it. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips really quickly. All right, so I went ahead and lined my lips with just a lip liner that's very close to my actual lip color. And we're going to go ahead and go in with this lipstick. All right, and this is Spiked Cocoa. All right, I really like this shade too. It's a very everyday shade. This formula is so light and loosey, but as you can tell, it's got a lot of pigment with it as well. Very comfortable. It doesn't get super drying on the lips. It will transfer because there's always like a little bit of moisture that stays with this liquid lipstick, which I actually love but the color does stay really well throughout the day with the ones that I've worn in the past. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off and I'm going to put back on I've Been Naughty. All right, guys. So this is the finished makeup look. I actually really like it. Um, it's definitely different for me, but I still, I don't even think that this is too crazy to wear. Like I would wear this out no problems. Let's go ahead and talk about this collection. All right, first off, I want to give you like the two biggest hits for me, and that is the eyeshadow palette. I'd say this is probably my favorite thing from this collection. I think it is so beautiful. It makes me want to pick up the other like variation of this. Now I do think in Europe that there are like two other offerings of this. However, they have not come to the US yet. Um, but the two that we have, I definitely think I may end up picking up the other one. A, the packaging is gorgeous. Of course, limited edition. So if you want it, you need to grab it because they don't re-release these. Um, and the colors inside, like I said, I used every single shade in this palette to come up with this look today. And I think it, it gives me like alien type of vibes. I think it is so pretty. Now, if I would not have put this blue in the inner corner and I just would have put that, that definitely would have been like a look that I would be more prone to doing. Um, I just wanted to put this pop of color just because I never do that. And I wanted to use every shade in this palette. Going forward, I would put this all over the lid and top it with this shade like we did in the inner corner, smudge this out on the lash line, and then bring it up just in the outer corner and like 
the crease area over here. And I think that would be absolutely beautiful. And I would do this exact same look, just not using the blue on the inner corner. So that's two other look ideas for you. Um, I could see doing multiple other looks with just these six colors. Again, the quality on this one is absolutely amazing. Even this like pastel looking blue, super pigmented right time I went in. Didn't have to build it up, um, which is crazy for a blue like that. And yeah, this whole palette just performed absolutely amazing. Good price point and beautiful packaging and presentation as well if you're giving this as a gift. If you're giving this as a gift, the neutral one is like a no-brainer. All right, next up, I love these lipsticks. The Luster Glass is one of my favorite formulas from MAC in general, and the shade I've Been Naughty, this one is like a color I go for every single day. I could see keeping this in my purse and using this all the time. This is a lip color that will go with like anything. Now this color is pretty too, but mainly like this lip color I've been naughty, that is what I am recommending. My next favorite thing I would say is the Spiked Cocoa. I thought this was a beautiful kind of like muted rosy type of a color. Perfect for this time of year. And um, again, this one was described as a cool nude. However, for some reason, the I've Been Naughty pulls more cool toned on me. Next up, I thought that this lip balm was absolutely beautiful. Um, I always start my looks with a lip balm. That is what like I prep when I'm prepping my skin. I put on a lip balm and that is like the first step of my makeup. So um, I definitely wanted to pick up this balm and give it a try. Again, I love that the glitters in here, um, you couldn't feel them, but you could see them and they just made your lips look so juicy. I think you could wear this even out and it would just look really pretty and natural. All right, and then next up, I would say this little kit here that came with the bag, the brush, and this extra dimension skin finish. I don't have an extra dimension skin finish like this. However, like I said, going forward, I would put a blush down first that's like very pigmented because this is very sheer. I don't think you can wear this as like a blush alone unless you're more fair skinned than I am. If you have like porcelain skin, then this would probably work great as a blush. But for me, I just had to keep building it up and I didn't like how shiny my cheeks were getting without the pigment if that makes sense so I would put a blush down first and then use this as a topper but I am stoked to get another MAC brush because the ones that I have thus far are absolutely amazing and I end up using them pretty pretty frequently um, my MAC 217 I use all the time all right, and then last up, this did come to me damaged, um, but again, that kind of makes me question like the formula and the fact that my whole pan, I can like move in here. Definitely, it must have dried out and then you saw like the crumbling when I was putting my brush in here. Not really digging that. Also, it is a lot more pink than I normally wear. Again, you could use this as a blush topper. Um, but yeah, that, that is kind of my overview. Again, the main, main things that I would recommend are the eyeshadow palette and the I've Been Naughty lipstick. Those are definitely my favorites by far. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what else you guys want to see, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.